Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video. In this video, I'm going to continue looking at the October-November 2017 IGCC ICT paper. In the last video, we ended with step number three and in this video, we start with step number four. So step four says, apply the TC title style to the title Dawara Cruise News at the start of the document. So let's go ahead and do just that. So at the start of the document, this is um, the document in question. So apply the TC subtitle, uh, the TC title rather. Next, below the, the title, add the subtitle produced by and your name. Okay, so this one. So produced by Casa Evans. Okay. Then apply the uh, TC subtitle star to this text. Okay, so this text applies subtitle. Next, apply the TC body style to the rest of the document. Okay, so the rest of the document is from here. Just um, tap end on your keyboard hold whilst holding shift, then still hold shift and tap page down on your keyboard to select the entire text up to the end and apply the body style. Uh, make sure that um, you 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 verify that the body style has been applied. Uh, one other way you can do that is by clicking on the body style twice or three times, just to make sure that it has been applied. Okay, so this looks good. Um, the style is applied. This looks good. Um, next. <clears throat> Change, um, change the page layout so that the subheading winter holidays and all the following text are displayed into in two columns of equal width with one centimeter space between them. Okay, so from winter holidays. So scroll up a bit and get from winter holidays. Just select the entire text. Again, I'll, I'll select, I'll hold shift. Okay, so get shift, tap end, tap page down until I get there and go to layout and under columns go to more columns um, select two columns here and reduce this to one centimeter and get that so that should be fine next um, okay so next what we need to do now is to um, where we identify the eight subheadings in the document and apply tc subhead style to each one Okay, so all the eight subheadings. So let's start from this one. So double click on this one, that's fine. Double click on this one. Double click this one, that's three, four, five, six. Um, you have seven, and then you should have eight. So give them subhead. Okay, next. <clears throat> Open the file, N17 uh, itinerary, um, uh, what's that, um, .csv and insert the contents as a table within the column width after the text, islands of the um, Eastern Caribbean. So search for this one. So what I'm going to do is open this file first of all. Um, N17, where you, okay, there you go. Open it in Excel. So what I'm going to do is to get this text, copy it, okay, and um, come here and search for the text that we're looking for. So Control F on your keyboard to find and look for islands, um, let me just verify the text in question. It's islands of the eastern. So of the eastern. Okay, there you go here. And put your case at the end. Hit enter on your keyboard once and paste your table. Okay, so notice that the table has been pasted, but we do we have some part of the table which is existing on one part of the page and yet and then finishes on the other part of the page. So be careful on this one. Um, that you don't leave it that way, okay? But don't worry, for now, we can work with it, okay? So, sort the data in the table into ascending order of day. So what you need to do, come here, 
select the table and go to sort here select the, the field you want to sort in this case we want to sort with day it's a number it contains number and must be sorted in ascending order so say okay and you see it has been sorted so we have one two three four all the way to eleven okay good next apply the tc table style to the table okay so let's go ahead and apply the style so it's already the table is already selected just apply the style good next Make sure that no text wrap is within the table. Okay, there shouldn't be any text wrapping. So for you to make sure that there's no text wrapping, uh, you can even add the borders. Um, it will show you clearly if there is text wrapping. So notice that column five and uh, rather row five and row four, there is text wrapping there taking place. So you can avoid that. Okay, so just click on the borders of this and it will expand and um, it will suit that. Okay, good. Next, um, make sure that there is a 12 point space. Okay, so internal and external green lines are displayed. We've done that. Make sure there is a 12 point space after the table. Okay, so after the table, we need to have some space. So put your cursor there at the end of the table, go to paragraph, and notice it is 12 point space. Okay, so that should be fine. Now, what we're going to do <coughs> from here. Um, We'll come back to this. Um, as you can see, the table is actually kind of split. Um, the table is split um, um, between two pages. Um, so don't worry. At the end of the document, we need to push this table down so that it exists as a separate, um, a separate um, um, table on one page. Okay. Alternatively, you can choose a font which is. Um, which is for the body, you can choose a font which is somewhat, um, um, because Arial has the characters compressed, so you have this table. So if you had a, uh, something like Calibri, you will see that this table uh, was going to be existing on a different, because there are so many char um, the characters, they are kind of larger a bit um, for the same size as 10, but you will see that the text will be pushed down, okay? But for now, this is perfectly fine. Um, except that you don't have to print your document when your table is split like this, otherwise you'll lose marks. Okay. So let's go ahead and do step number 13. Insert a new row as the first row of the table and enter the title. I'm just going to copy this Eastern Caribbean. Um, just double click. Uh, no, it's not double click. Let's just copy it. Okay, like that. Copy. And then um, we're going to insert a new row. So select the first row like that and then um okay go to insert row above okay so insert above okay and then paste the text and there you go with the text so next what we're supposed to do is format the first row of the table to be bold and italic okay so make it bold and italic so it's bold we just need to make it italic okay <coughs> Next, center, align, <coughs> center aligned over the four columns, so which means merge the cells and center align them. So select the cell, and you're supposed to merge them. So merge cells and center align them. Okay. Next, shaded with a light gray background, 20 to 40 percent, and you're going to do that. So it's already selected. Go on shading here, and select 20 to 40 percent. So if you hover your mouse. Uh, your mouse there, you will see that um, you can, so I get 35%, that's fine, because it's within 20, 40%, okay, background, that should be fine. Um, next, format the, um, well, well, we've just done that, <laughs> okay, so um, let me see how much time I've used in this video, and um, okay, so I've used about nine minutes, that should be fine. Um, I'm going to stop this video here. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video shortly.